Cannonball electric skateboard race right now. And uh, I just built a special film rig for this event. We got the Ichabod Jr. with the Stan FPV prop guards. So we're running the four inch prop guards with a Gem Fan 4042 props. Um, so we got the Hero 6, 7 on here. And uh, these prop guards look great. They have the little protectors on the top to basically uh, keep people's fingers from getting in, the, in there. And um, the motors are nice and soft mounted. So we're gonna get some footage with this guy and uh, see how it goes. Right now, uh, so far it's been flying really good, really smooth. So I'm liking the way the, the prop duct ducks feel. But um, we'll see how the footage looks. All right, what's up guys? We are checking out some footage from the Cannonball race. And uh, this is the Ichabod Jr. This is running those stand up TV prop cards on the four inch props. Really cool feature is that you can angle that camera down and get that Mavic like shot without worrying about hitting anyone with those props and chopping them up. So really cool. Also flying through bushes like that where you don't have to worry about getting those props caught in the trees. Really, really diverse uh, rig there. Now this is the Planoceros Skull V3 that I also have been testing. A couple of my new cinematic builds. This guy's also got the adjustable GoPro angle with the FPV camera angle locked in with that. And this is more of my high speed rig where uh, I'm chasing scooters going 40 miles per hour. This is a rig that I would want to use. Uh, the Shenzhou Ichabod, more of a, a lower speed um, kind of city whoop replacement. I've been flying that a lot more than my squirt. Um, but the, the Flynosaurus Skull V3 flies great. The thing's a tank. Really love the different camera angles I can get with it. It does lock you into, uh, I think, four camera angles, but uh, didn't find any issues with those four angles. So uh, the one thing about the Ichabod Jr. that's nice is that it has, uh, you know, infinite amount of angles because you can adjust it basically on a screw, on a swivel. Uh, but yeah, the Skull V3 uh, was tons of fun. I'm gonna put some prop guards on it as well, some Santa Fe five-inch prop guards. Because uh, I really like the way they, they fly with the guards on and uh, just gives you that extra peace of mind when you're chasing human subjects around at high speeds. Uh, but yeah, this, this thing was tons of fun to fly. Uh, very unique frame design. A little tight of a build, surprisingly. Um, but other than that, you know, I just had, had trouble fitting my VCX inside of the frame. Other than that, though, I'm really happy with the design. It's got no jello whatsoever. The whole top portion is, is soft mounted, so it's basically connected to a couple of uh, standoffs that are inside of TPU uh, that keep the GoPro and battery on a separate plane than the FC, the motors, and all that stuff. So. Really cool design from Planoceros. Thank you guys for hooking me up with that frame at West Coast Throwdown. Um, won it for the best crash competition. So I uh, appreciate you guys helping me replace one of my frames. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. All right. All right. All right. See you guys.